I was pleased with the, the outcome of the game. Obviously, we scored more goals than the, the previous game. But uh, uh, the one thing that I was very pleased was that uh, we did not allow them to to be dangerous. Like th there was nothing that scared us uh, at any point in time. And I thought we did a very good job uh, to uh, protect uh, to protect uh, the space behind us, to protect uh, and. Uh, discourage balls to uh, to show and uh, screen her very well so every uh, every little thing that uh, they had uh, in the previous game going we were able to uh, we were able to protect and uh, do, do a good job in it on the other side the intensity itself I don't think the intensity was any better this game compared to the last game in fact we we ended up running a lot more in the last game than this game but the, the reason why was because of those little things whether it was uh, uh, countermeasures, or losing the ball in critical areas, or uh, miss uh, miss passes, uh, so or, or losing individual battles uh, against some of the, some of the players from Haiti. So that's why uh, the intensity was uh, same, or I don't know if uh, if maybe even a little bit less. But uh, the other things, the small things, the details uh, were a lot better. <laughs> Sof is an incredible young player, and uh, to be to be a starter uh, as uh, 20 years old, I think 20, 21, whatever whatever she is, yes, uh, to be a starter on the best team in the world, it's not easy. It comes with uh, with lots of weight, and uh, uh, she wants to be the best every time she step on, steps on the field. She's perfectionist, wants to wants to score goal, two goals, and uh, and uh, which is great, but uh, sometimes it, it can. Uh, um, it can be counterproductive, so uh, I don't think that the last game was uh, her best game, and uh, I, ha I did have a meeting with her and talked about that, that uh, to, to reassure her, regardless of uh, what the game is going to be, regardless of what this game is going to look like, or the next game is going to look like, she will be a starter for this team, just because we know how good she is now, and we can see her potential and how good she can be in the future. She, uh, she does have uh, potential to be one of the best players uh, in the world, and uh, I think that uh, she she demonstrated that uh, in the, in the first half, uh, which uh, which I thought uh, thought was were was incredible. Uh, 45 minutes for her. Yes, uh, I'll start from the back. Uh, Megan Rapino is coming back, and she uh, she's going to be here. She's already uh, back uh, in the country. She's uh, waiting for us to, to get back and uh, and uh, start preparing for the next game. Uh, I think that uh, actually it will be a very good game. It will be a good show. Uh, I think that regardless of what the outcome uh, of the next game is uh, or Mexico Haiti, I think the Mexico US uh, is going to be good, and uh, we are excited and looking forward to it because uh, uh, we're expecting a lot of fans. We're expecting um, a lot of a lot of cheering and booing. Uh, so. Uh, but uh, that's uh, that's what this game is all about. Uh, regardless, you know, for for us, this is very important for a young uh, young team uh, that we have, or the, these younger players that they uh, they have never experienced this, uh, being outside of U.S. Uh, and playing games uh, in front of 30, 40,000 people. I, I think that that's uh, that's something that. Uh, that uh, we're looking forward to, uh, and hopefully we get a good result, qualify for the World Cup, because this will be the best preparation uh, or best experience going into World Cup.